Having had iOS beta one on my device now for a few days, I've had the chance to check out some of the features that were announced at WWDC just about a week ago, but I've also discovered some unannounced features that I wanna share with you. So stay tuned, let's chat. First, let's recap some of my favorite new features in iOS 18. First up is the redesigned iOS 18 control center. And you can see I'm redesigning, or not redesigning, but resizing the widgets and buttons on the fly here, uh, which is pretty neat. So you can, it's more customizable, just like the home screen that we'll touch on in a second. But you could swipe also uh, between pages. You create additional pages. Here's for music and here's for your connections. So that's the redesigned control center. Next up is putting icons anywhere on your home screen. Now, Android's been doing this since it came out in 2008. I remember on the first phone, the G1, I was able to do this right away. Just like the redesigned control center, you can now resize widgets on the fly on your home screen, which is pretty neat. And next, you'll see that uh, in this feature, a lot of people have been waiting for this. I personally don't care, but I could understand why some people might need it, is you could require face unlock to enter certain apps. And you'll see, I just tried enabling it for uh, this app here, the feedback assistant. It's not quite working the way it should, because it still lets me in. Let's try on the Starbucks app here. You hold it, you click on require face ID. So I just did that and let's try going into the Starbucks app. Does it require face ID? It does not. Now let's talk about messages because there's a lot of talk about here. Uh, here you'll see the tap backs gain a bunch of new tap backs. Uh, I mean, to me, it seems the un unlimited, uh, just like emojis. Uh, there's also scheduling of messages, which is really cool. And I like what they're showing here as an example, Apple did in their keynote, uh, where so you remember it's someone's birthday tomorrow. So if you don't uh, want to forget it, you could send them or set up the message right now to send for tomorrow. Uh, next is text effects. You'll see right here on the screen, uh, that there's all these new text effects, pretty cool to play around with. Uh, you'll see there's an example from the keynote. There's explode, there's jitter, there's nod. You'll see there's a whole bunch right there on the screen that you can play around with. But another cool feature is the uh, messaging from satellite. So we'll get to play around with that, I'm sure, later on. You could also now share live video or recorded video with emergency services. Already introduced in iOS 17 with the iPhone 15s, now taken one step further, we could set charge limits to different levels, such as 85, 90, 95, and obviously 100. Usually talking about calculators are boring in my opinion, but here there's something that's pretty cool is in the math new math notes section of the calculator app, if you draw an equation like here, one plus one, once you put that equal sign, it puts the answer in for you in your own handwriting. Now you'll see there's different options. You could put in a suggested answer rather than actually insert the answer. Um, and there's some other options here you'll see on the screen. So I'll just put that up there so you can see. And that's it just for now for the math notes section. Next is tap to pay. So if you usually Venmo someone, reimbursing them, you know, splitting them the bill, whatever it is, now you could do that solely through Apple with tap to catch. Next, let's talk about the redesigned mail app where Apple's gonna use AI to create categories for your mail on the fly, such as transactions, priorities, updates, and promotions as well. So that's a new, new uh, neat new feature that'll be out uh, later on in this fall, it's not in iOS yet. Next, game mode's gonna uh, decrease that latency between your AirPods and your controllers to have a more snappy feel between them. And next, Apple Maps is having a huge redesign because it's gonna show you a bunch of different hikes in the area. So if you're familiar with all trails, a lot of that functionality is coming baked right into Apple Maps, and I love the new look. Finally, or not finally, but this is a big one, for me at least, is calendar. You see as I pinch in, I can pinch to zoom and look at the level of detail I want in my calendar and then zoom back out, pinch out. Now the new Passwords app just saves passwords, uh, does not save IDs, credit card information, anything like that, um, that other third-party apps does do. Another small change is with the journal widget and it shows you some inspirational messages to help you think about what to journal about today. 
Whether it's a Taylor Swift concert or a sports game, the ticket experience is upgraded, providing tons of new and redesigned info, such as venue maps, parking details, bag policies, in-seat food delivery options, and more. Now, if you've Amazon, you've already seen this on Amazon where it shows you the names of the actors on the screen. Well, now Apple's doing that with insights, and it'll show you the name of songs that are playing. It'll show you the actors uh, on the screen as well. Now, not just Apple TV, but it'll also show you on your phone. Now I see here something new with the flashlight in iOS 18 is that you can uh, not just make it dimmer or make it brighter like you normally could, but you could adjust the width of the beam. You see now I made it skinny, made it wider, and so that's a pretty cool uh, little feature that they added to iOS 18. Next up is something called eye tracking in the accessibility section of your settings. So if we turn it on, you'll see here um, to set it up, it'll show dots on the screen and with your eyes, you're supposed to follow it around and that's how it'll set up the tracking. Um, but you'll see once this is done here is that uh, the eye tracking doesn't really work that well in beta one as uh, you'll see. Um, I try to look at different parts of the menu once the eye tracking setup is done and it's not that accurate. I'm hoping they will make that better uh, in the next beta or be definitely before the final. But you'll see I'm just trying to go back here, I'm trying to hit that back arrow at the top left and I'm, tr I'm trying to go back and forth and it just ain't happening. Another accessibility feature in iOS 18 is to help avoid motion sickness when you're in the car. So these little black dots will show up that help guide you and will help eliminate or at least reduce that motion sickness in the car. A couple other features I want to touch on are first is the cleanup tool in pictures. Now other third party apps already do this, but Apple's baking it right into your photos app where you could if uh, you basically erase anything out of your photo, which is pretty neat. And next is audio notes. Now in the notes app, you could take an audio note or a voice memo directly into the, your note app and the app will transcribe your notes. And then finally, I don't know if this is gonna be an iOS or if it's strictly a Mac OS feature, but Apple Pay definitely in Mac OS is coming to third party apps like Chrome. So let's get into a few features that were either unannounced that I found playing around in the iOS beta or some features I found to be understated that should have gotten a little more attention. So first up has to do with CarPlay. In CarPlay, you can now ask Siri for a sports score and a card will show up right on the screen. Next, something else I, I wasn't able to get a video of, but when your iPhone dies, it'll show, it'll still show the time, it'll still be findable, you can still find the, the phone, and also uh, express cards and keys will still be available for your home or your car. So far, this is reported only to be working on the iPhone 15 models, but we'll see if that gets expanded to earlier models as well. Another feature that stands out to me is that Apple Pay will let you pay with credit card points now. So at first, uh, it's only available with Discover cards and Synchrony cards, but I think that other credit card companies will likely jump on this too in the near future. You'll also be able to redeem cashback rewards. Now here's something that takes me back to the old Sony Ericsson days is that you can now record and transcribe your phone calls. Now, of course, Siri will let you know or the phone will let you know and others know that the call is being recorded. Now, finally, there's guest access to HomeKit. You can set a schedule for guests with invites and you can lock them out on the fly. Uh, there's also hands-free unlock. So just like if you have a Tesla, for those who have Teslas, you'll know right when you walk up to the car, it'll auto unlock and maybe even open the door depending on your vehicle. And same applies here. Now, just like the Tesla, you could walk up to your home lock if you have a smart lock and it'll unlock automatically. Now the next feature would have been helpful years and years ago, even before the iPhone came out, uh, because my grandparents would always call me for help with their computer. Well now, if your grandpa or grandma calls you for help with their uh, iPhone through the updated SharePlay option or app, you can now take over their screen and show them what to do. 
You can even draw certain areas on their screen to call attention to certain areas and show them how do you do something on their iPhone or how do you fix something. Now what's not available yet in the iOS beta one is, as most of you probably know from watching the keynote, Apple intelligence. There's also been some talk that when it's released, it'll have a wait list to sign up for. Time will only tell. Now the next feature that's not yet available is what I talked about earlier, the redesigned mail app that is not yet in the beta. Uh, so we'll have to wait either uh, later in the summer if they're going to release that through beta or we'll see in the fall if they hold off until fall. Uh, next is a feature called Safari Highlights. Now Apple is using machine learning to power a new feature called Highlights, which identifies info like songs and addresses and phone numbers on the web page and shows it to you in a summary fashion. And finally, iPhone mirroring that goes along with Mac OS Sequoia coming out. Now this feature lets you see and control your iPhone from your Mac, all while the iPhone stays locked. You're also able to drag and drop files back and forth between the iPhone and your Mac. So there you have it. That, those are my favorite iOS features that have been announced and that I'm testing out. If you have any questions or want to talk about any of the, the features that were just released in iOS 18, comment below and thanks for watching.